All right, let's do another walk around of my Eclipse and Blackwing. So starting from uh, the right side of the plane, I have a couple Emacs analog servos. I use the metal clevis to make it easier to um, fine tune some adjustments. Right here, I have my VTX holder. Um, I modified the original one to make room so that I could put this on the outside so we get plenty of cooling. You can see a couple globs of hot glue. That's what I kind of use to keep it together. It works really well. This one is interesting because um, it has a, I don't know, a little module here that you can use a wand that you have to purchase separately to change the frequency or the power, or there is an app on your phone that you can use uh, to change the frequency or the power. Um, here's where I made some adjustments. Um, right here, I don't, I can't really tell, but um, I used to have the ESC on the inside and it melted the plastic quite a bit. Um, it got really hot. I don't know if I had um, too much prop. I, I think I did. So I switched to a 8.6 prop and I took this motor fairing part out. So hopefully I get some cooling in there and I mounted the ESC on the outside. Um, inside my flight controller is a Matek 405 Mini. Um, it works really well. You can see this blue wire. That's actually the smart audio to this and it plugs into the same pad that my Spectrum serial receiver does. Um, in the front, I have a Runcam Micro Swift Mini, and I'm running a 3-cell 5,000 milliamp battery pack. Um, behind this is my ready-made RC branded Mini GPS. It works really well, and underneath it you can see the antenna for my um, Spectrum receiver. So this is a quick little walk around of my plane. I really like these little barn doors. Um, the mechanism, the latch is pretty clever. It just closes down and you turn the little latch. All right, let's get ready for flight number three. Oh. As you can see by the trees, it's windy. You can probably hear it. It's kind of always windy. All right, let's hope this goes good. Oh, it's really windy. Oh, I can't even hold it. Yeah, I'm not gonna try. All right, flight number three. Really windy. All right, I'm trying some altitude hold mode to kind of see how this is working. It's looking like it's climbing a little bit. I'm kind of curious, I want to try loiter mode. So let me just flip into loiter mode, it's really windy. Nope, that's not right. Here's loiter mode, so I'm not flying it. It's 
just turning around. It's doing its own. It's kind of... It's like it's struggling a bit. It looks like it's making a big, nice sweeping right turn. Looks like it's losing a little bit of altitude, and then it kind of climbs up, levels itself off. Uh-oh. Let's, uh... kind of regain. I think I'm going to land it. I don't think the hold mode does look like it's doing pretty good. It's just really windy. So I'm going to go to manual mode, chop the throttle. Kind of bring it in. Nice and slow. Let's go around. That was successful. All right, try this again. Make a big turn. Chop the throttle, point it down. Yeah, that still looks a lot better. Whoa!